Hello and welcome everyone to Tuesday Night Modern here at Top Deck Productions, part of the now August Modern League. I'm Jake Valentine and you are? Join me, sir. My name's Adam. What's your last name, Adam? I think it's Olds. So you're at your grumpy Adam Olds. You can follow me on Twitter at Hopeless, H-O-P-3, L-E-S-S. You can follow Adam complaining about magic online at Adam Olds 4, I believe. Just the number four. Yeah, we're, we're basic. Pretty, That's because I can't count any higher. <laughs> we got some modern going on. Uh, Robert Meadows uh, on the Teamer Pile, which he is very fond of. It's Mike Augustine playing Affinity. Who are you liking this matchup there? Oh, Augie's not playing Affinity. He's not playing Affinity? No. What is He's it? playing Mono Blue Prison. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is not Affinity. <laughs> We're told that uh, yeah. a streamer asked if uh, I'll asked take if Mike's playing Affinity. And I'll Mike take said, the deck with with, sure. with uh, four four main four main deck bridges and four main deck chalices. <laughs> so we've been seeing this Mono Blue Prison uh, deck pop up a lot recently, especially locally over uh, traditional land to control. Why do you think that is? I can't. So I think the the skill barrier is much lower. What up, boys? New. Um, I think the skill the skill barrier is much lower than lan traditional lantern control. Um, Why is that? Because I don't have to care what my opponent's top top card of their deck is. Lantern control is all about knowing the cards that matter because you actually do have to start giving them draws. So you have to look at your hand and say, okay, can I beat this card? Can I beat this card? Can I beat this card? Mono Blue Prison on the other hand just does not care. All right, so it looks like we're shuffled up for seven. Jake, we back in a uh, hot second. All right, well, Augie has seven cards, and it looks like looks like Robert's going to six. Let's see if uh, let's see if Mike Augustine, known as Augie locally, has a keeper. Yeah, he's just making the table worse. All right, it looks like we're both going to six. Now it's crooked, so that's tilting. So uh, other highlights tonight, we have uh, we have Billy Caminos in the house. Uh, so if you want to see Billy on stream, uh, make sure you shout it out. Uh, keep in mind this this uh, the league this month is only four weeks, because uh, unfortunately it's the seventh, and it's on Tuesday. So last last month was long, so there's no drops. Um, other changes in the league are. Uh, our players are now allowed to draw, like in traditional tournaments. We used to try to discourage people from drawing, um, but we had issues with non-league people drawing with league people. Um, so we're just saying, hey, do what you want. So it looks like uh, it looks like we're done shuffling. So going to see if we can get a keepable six. Who do you think has a better uh, six-card hand here, the prison deck or the the pile deck? I'm still I'm still going to go with the. I still like prison. I imagine it. it I, doesn't have a lot, a lot of cantrips or anything. It just has a lot of stuff. <laughs> so they can still dig. Um, it's, in, in a vacuum, I'd still take the prison deck. Uh, but of course, Robert can just stick a turn one threat and kind of ride that. Do you know if Augie's playing uh, Serum Powder? Uh, even though that is a uh, Mike Augustine special card, I do not. I did not see it. I only looked briefly. See, Mike mentioned the Mike Augustine special. Um, can you explain who Mike Augustine is for people who are not familiar with him? So, Specifically uh, the decks Mike Augustine has helped uh, brew. So Augie only plays things that are kind of out in, uh, out in left field. So he, he tends to be on decks about a year or two before they're popular. He was, he was playing the uh, Eternal Scourge version of um, the Eldrazi deck with Serum Powders a couple years ago. Um, he also was playing the um, Lantern of Inside deck uh, when it's one condition with something like Amarokul or something weird. Um, before that deck became a thing. Um, so he likes decks that are off the beaten path. He was actually sending us quite a few um, over the past couple days he wanted to play. One was an Arayo deck, which actually looked pretty sweet. Um, Arayo, of course, is the flip card from Kamigawa. Uh, if, you, if you play four spells in a turn, it flips into an enchantment. A legendary enchantment says the first spell you play every turn is countered. So it's kind of like a locked deck. That with Monastery Mentor. Uh, so Augie on taps plays a Field of Rune into a Sorcerer Spyglass to I turn so on, scared. yeah, I think I think uh, Robert's just using his his uh, his mana there efficiently. Uh, it also keeps Augie from having an active Mox Opal is the more important Correct. thing there. That's the reason why he's keeper on this Mistress Bubble, or at least he was. Being Robert able to uh, a field of ruin, so it show. I don't think Robert has a Tarmogoyf because I think he just would have jammed that on too. Yeah, Augie also would play like recross, recross the pass and legacy, 
Literally any deck with serum powder on the planet, Augie plays. Get him, Bob. What's up, Null Set? All right, Robert. Robert, uh, leave early from the fun Rut Meadows. Uh, just plays Field Rune and passes. Uh, we had a team top deck get together uh, over the weekend, and Robert, of course, left quite early. That's the Ibn Riverlet from Mock Hawk. I've seen the standard control special card. Nice voice, no? Did you have anything else left in the deck that you need to get for your Jess guy? Okay, I think he's just Field of Ruining to fix his mana, and then he's going to uh, Spell Snare. So he's probably just going to go after the red source here. Um, although I believe the red is only out of the, bar, out of the board. To be fair, uh... He could uh, also go after Mike's... Or Meadows Augie's. doesn't know that just yet. He could also go after Augie's Field Rune. Yeah, Still went after the uh, Steam Vents to, as you mentioned, go after that red mana. Yeah, it was the only logical thing. He still is going to net a mana off this because land, of course, comes into play untapped. Um, but it's not the worst. Is Augie in Bottle Cloister? Probably. <laughs> yeah, that's what, I, that's what I kept calling Sid in a Bottle last week. No, those old, those old cards. Those old cards with the art you love so much. Yeah, and then they get reprinted, and then it's miserable and makes me sad. All right. Spell stand number two there for Meadows. Bob leaves early fields. Yeah, that, that is a, an appropriate name. Uh, Augie's still looking to get a chalice on one or two here. I think a chalice on one is fantastic for, uh, for Mike here. Ends up just passing the turn. Love the Arena Basics. Yes, Bobon Intervention. Yeah, Robert is all about the, uh, the Arena Basics. Interesting. Robert's choosing to play this as a, uh, as a control deck because he wants his, he hasn't been doing clicking his hand. Um, I'm surprised he didn't flash in. Why do you think he didn't flash in after draw? Not too sure. Here's a uh, Chalice of the Void this makes on this one, really bad for, uh, for, uh, for Bob there because he has one red source and two bolts in his hand. So he kind of has to decide what he wants to prioritize here, right? Mm -hmm. uh, through to the face or uh, look at Augie's hand. What would you prioritize here? I'm telling Nelson. He's going to opt. That's okay. We can write to our congressman. Interesting. So he's going to go for the opt bolt plan here. Uh, do you like that? or I like opting and bolting here in response. All right, they uh, they both kind of chuckle there. So yeah, this is if uh, if Augie gets out of Chalice on two, Bob's gonna have a real hard time winning. All right, his uh, Smog Supple's now live. Again, so is again, I just get him a draw step here. I mean, why would why would Meadows leave it back? I'm not sure. So the only card I care about is bridge is is its staring bridge. Speaking of which, there is. Yeah, that's the only card I care about. Bridge. The Masters 25 version of the Staring like, Bridge. Like if he if he had done this, he could have put his name. He could have put in Staring Bridge at the bottom. So this is why I like doing an after draw step. You get the most information. Oh, he does himself. He values his hand more so than his opponents, supposedly. There. As long as Bobber doesn't leave the team open early, I'm okay with his nickname. I agree. That that's fine. He just leaves everything else. Uh, this is Jason Mind Sculptor. Interesting. There, so this is actually important because this is his win condition. Uh, I imagine just going to go upstairs and just start fail tilling. Yep. Sees a card, does it like, puts it to the bottom, and Augustine will draw for turn. This is the only way that uh, Bob can win this match. Um, I don't know how, how uh, Augie deals with a Planeswalker. Do you have any mandate. echoing truths? Or? I do not know. He had, he, had, he had such things in the sideboard as Ula Mask and Jester's Cap. So I don't none, of those, none of those sound too, uh, too good. Jester's Mask is okay. Or Jester's Cap. One of the two. Um, he's way off the mill plan. Uh, I believe one person is on the dredge vine. We deck. can't afford it now because uh, Venge Vine's in like 90 bucks now. Yeah. Although I was trying really hard to play it. He really wanted to play it. I've been trying to get Billy to play that deck for a while now. So I think it's sweet. I don't think it's very good, but... We shall see. Yeah, too far is there from Meadows. Not, not too ideal. So at what point do you just start jamming one mana spells and see if Augie pays attention? I think you always just jam it. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would change my cadence up a little bit. Uh, Meadows looking at the top card on Augie's deck. I think it is reading the top card. I think it's a Claire. I think Augie's it's a Claire West. No, it's not. It's not a land. I think it's a. It's not a land. I thought it was not a land. West. No, no, no. I don't think it was. A land. It had a lot of text. It was blown a land. Okay, so it's Claire West. Well, they had a lot more text than Slurry West would ever have. It is a basic island. Jake just can't read. He puts it to the bottom and just passes it back. Ley lines are 75. Which ley line is 75 bucks? 
Probably. A black one? Does anybody, want to, does anybody want to buy some ley lights? I picked up a white one on Friday. Isn't magic great? All these tech yeah. Budge. Yeah, that's not, this is not going to do it. Uh, Doesn't answer Jace. Augie still needs a way to deal with this here. He will tech edge. Probably so take him off that red source. Yep, take off the red source. Yeah, second main. This will float. Void is seventy-five dollars. Jeez. Here's your staff caster mage. Target. I wouldn't have done that. I would have cast green. Just pass it back. I think. Uh, Same thing for Nexus of Fate. Second though. staring bridge in hand. Nexus of Fate's a billion. <gasps> it's only like thirty-five. Excuse you. That was a hiccup. So we're three for three on these uh, fate seals, putting the top card to the bottom. Uh oh. Is it some damage two through the bridge? Getting some damage. Augustine goes down to fifteen. So I think this game takes a completely different route if uh, if Bob uh, clicked in his draw step. Currently, it doesn't matter though. He got rid of. Uh, he was able to get rid of a card he didn't care about uh, through the chalice on one, and now he's this Jace that's gonna ride him to victory. So I actually don't know how uh, I don't know how Augie gets out of this. Uh, Bob has done everything he needs to do to win this game. Uh, so he has a clock. If Augie doesn't answer, if Augie doesn't empty his hand every turn, would you say that uh, the prison player is currently locked by this Jace? No, because I hate bad puns. I think you will also hate my uh, my power rankings for this week. I hate everything. We're doing, I'm gonna. So last week, Adam uh, spit out his top five on biscuit songs. This yeah. week, I'm spitting out my top five '90s family sitcoms. Oh, dipping thoughts. Thank you. That's important. Yeah, that's that's good. I didn't think about that. Uh, Catamarans and buyback spyglass. That's hot. Yeah. And '90s family sitcoms. So we kind of got in a little little uh, little heated debate about this. We talking starts in the '90s and ends in the '90s. Because there's just so many if you Google it. There is. They had to take place in the 90s. It has my, to be a family sitcom. So my, no my, my contention is Seinfeld is a, it is not. It is also, a family sitcom. Friends is hot garbage. I can't. I can't even. I don't even know who you are anymore. Looks like here comes oh, is uh, that a needle? bridge no, number needle. two. Needle it's, like one, a, it would get countered anyway. it's like a third bridge and a second chalice in hand from Augustine. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, so Seinfeld is a family No, it is comedy not. Because the fate seal and, uh, taught you how to. He that's actually the might island. Wanna, he actually might want to Ipnu Rivlet himself. And, and clear I'm the top thinking of about deck. it. Is it island on top? I'm probably going to clear the top of my deck. Because he, he would even like, I'm trying to trick you. Yeah. Like, He's going to draw the island. Jace needs to go up one more time, right? Yeah. I believe so. Here we go. Raging Ravine, the draw there from Meadows. Jace alt at 12, so he's got one more. Jace is going to take up the 13. Yeah, I, I the actually, top card. It is a land. I'm interested why R&D decided to have Jace stick around if you just plus it the entire time after the ultimate. That just seems kind of awkward to me. Not sure. I think he has to go for the Ibnu Rivulet mill myself plan here. Does he have enough made to do it all, though? That's the question. What's, uh, can we bring up Ibnu Rivulet? It's one blue tap. Uh, yeah, so he has it because he has a Mox Opal, right? So if he mills and draws exactly... But he's already to... untapped for turn, though. Well, he's... No, he hasn't drawn yet. He's already untapped for turn, though, I believe, because he played something yeah, last turn. but he hasn't drawn yet, though, right? So he's no. going to mill three. If he spikes... If he spikes... One. Spyglass. Two. Three. Four. Draw. Spyglass. Uh, needle doesn't it's matter. Like dark Steel Citadel off the top, and Augie's going to sh... If Augie tried to play... If Augie tried to play a Needle there, then uh, he'd be a scum lord. <laughs> to your own chalice. All right, so uh, post board here. What is the red and the, the mono blue prison deck for? Because we had this on camera a couple weeks ago. I have no idea. And I still don't remember what red cards I, are. I, uh, my guess is some sort of uh, artifact removal, like a Biforce or uh, anything to get rid of artifacts. I don't know. I'd feel inclined to play like a Chandra, an actual one condition. I can see that too, yeah. Like, yeah. But then double red's probably hard for the deck to get. Spell, we have a uh, pirate spell bomb, I believe, uh, is something that the red is for as well. Spell bomb? Are we just slow recurring it? I ran the slow recur with uh, incoming filthy Tron player. What's up, DJ? DJ Coco Butter. All all Tron players are filthy. You might be playing Tron in the team team tournament we have. I'm I'm up. not gonna play anything. Why not? Because I'm gonna sit there and play my 3DS. That's rude. I'm gonna I'm just gonna hold everything above your head. Team Top Deck is going to play in a team tournament coming up here at GameSwap Mason as part of the Luke Benefit yeah. Tournament. Uh, sorry, Luke Browning Benefit Tournament. Yeah. Lots of, uh, Luke was actually here on Friday. Yes, he was. He's in pretty good spirits. So, yeah, he September does. 8th. Keep an eye for that. We're streaming some team trio constructed, some standard, modern, and legacy. Yeah. And Mr. Meadows on camera is going to be playing legacy. legacy. He's trying to figure likely. out what to play. I'm playing standard. You're playing modern. I, I, I try to get myself to play standard. That I can play 75 red cards, but 
Jake had a had a fit and cried. I don't like playing any other format. Jake just likes making my life miserable. Concur. Literally also, it makes uh, it miserable. Speaking of modern, on September first is the modern PPTQ we well, have here. They want some uh, Jessica. We'll see if we have Jessica. There's got to be a Jessica play in the house. I believe there. I saw some blue white control, so there is some sort of a control. We'll see if it is Jessica or not. Justin Gebbing, I'm sure, is in the house. Uh, Second place finisher from the previous league. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, September first is our modern PPTQ here that we're airing here on Top Deck Productions at Game Swap Mason. So keep an eye out for that. Lots of events coming up uh, in September. And also, don't forget, too, if you want to support us, you can do that several ways. Uh, you can subscribe to us here directly on Twitch. And don't forget, if you have Amazon Prime, you get the free Twitch Prime sub each and every month. And also, the Patreon page. Is it Patreon. free? It is free, yes. Like, free, free? Free, free, yes. With Amazon Prime, you uh, link the two accounts. You get because one free Twitch sub each and every month. It's free! And also, again, patreon.com slash top tech productions lets you support us here at the stream. Uh, support the August Modern League and all future Modern Leagues, as well as the equipment, the staff, and the people here at top tech productions. Also, keep an eye out, too. We're going to be ramping uh, the rewards for both subs and Patreons. So keep an eye out for that, too, later on this month. We want to we wanna make sure you're properly thanked and rewarded for help supporting us. Yeah. So, uh, do we talk about the giveaway? We'll be doing giveaway too, yes. Yeah, what are we giving away? We're giving away some commander decks. Commander 18 decks. You, you me, uh, Mr. Meadows, and Mike Farrell himself uh, will yes. be. Uh, so, what are we doing with them? We're going to play some commander, and then we're going to uh, throw every eligible participant in the pool, uh, which is every uh, sub and patron here. And we're going to give. I think it's one away. We can give them all away. We can, you can give them all away? We're going to give them all away. All away? I told them they have no choice. All one person? No, no, no. We're going to give them four different times. Four, out. So, yeah. Four, so four people are going to get four commander decks. Yep. And we're just going to do them at random. Correct. You uh, must be a patron or a sub to be eligible. Yep. We're going to play with them. So keep in mind, you're going to watch us play with them. And after we're done, we're going to put them back in the box and we're going to reward them out. Yep. But they'll be slightly played. So if you want Robert to. I don't know. Put an Arnhem Renegade in your deck. He can put an Arnhem Renegade in your deck. Um, I feel like Robert should eat one of the cards in your deck. Robert could eat one of the cards in your deck. The, I mean, the possibilities are endless. But we're literally just going to take him out, play him. Hopefully, uh, hopefully get some uh, pictures or some film of it. We will. We will record it. Uh, and we'll then, either uh, stream it live or throw it on the YouTube page, which is youtube.com slash Top Deck Productions stream, all spelled out. Let's you see all the archives from everything yeah. we stream here at Top Deck Productions. And then we're gonna then we're gonna raffle those out to some uh, some viewers. So that'd be sweet. If you like, if you like free stuff, I like free stuff. You like free stuff? You try to put a ninja of deep hours in your deck earlier. That seems reasonable. Free stuff is fun. I love free stuff. Essentially, what we want to do is, if you support us, we want to help support you. That's all we're trying to do here. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, for more information on that, check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash top deck productions. All right, now we got the slow shuffle going. So, uh, looks like, uh, Augie had some, um... Some more traditional artifact deck when conditions out of the sideboard. And uh, Jake's running off. All right, so here we go, stuffing up. He had a gear port Aether Grid is the card that I was getting at. So we'll see what happens here, game two, when we're done shuffling. After we're done talking. I think I'm too busy talking. Ren, yell at them. Tell Raptor, shut up. <laughs> All right, since these players are taking too long, where to start? It's August, and I promise in August we're going to do the Mountain Dew taste test. Are we? Yes, we are. Why do we even have to do it? Because there's one, there's one flavor of Mountain Dew. It's normal. Uh, Diet Mountain Dew is actually disgusting. Many flavors of Mountain Dew. So all these players are getting ready for game number two. Are there more flavors of Mountain Dew or more colors of the wind? I think there's more flavors of Mountain Dew than Colors of the Wind, my good sir. Pocahontas would disagree. Uh, I disagree with Pocahontas. Do you? Well, she's yes. dead. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she will forever guilt, live guilt, guilt, in guilt. our hearts in yeah. both the Disney animated movie and that James Cameron remake called Avatar. Oh. <laughs> Remember, there's a Pocahontas too. If you hate your life, feel free to watch Pocahontas too. I just re I recommend watching Mulan on Loop if you want to feel inspired. Anyway, uh, Mountain Dew number one is going to be the throwback featuring real sugar and I quote, real good. Yeah. I was really excited when this came out. Like the retro packaging on it a lot. Document. Is it actually retro packaging or does this make like an old style? That's not an old Mountain Dew can, is it? I have no idea. <laughs> I seriously doubt it is. Retro style. How's that? 
That is that is accurate. So it looks like he's posting that up on something. I will. I'm gonna post it on my Twitter page. On his on his Twitter. Again, that's at hopeless H O P three H O P three L E S S, and he's pretty boring. Um, you should check out. Yeah, uh, we'll get out Rob to stop shuffling. <laughs> You should check out. Jake did a uh, he did a review of No Man's Sky, aka unplayable. But Jake seems to not unplayable play. anymore. So if you'd like to hear his thoughts, you can check out that video. Um, feel free to like it or criticize it because Jake's trying to get into it. Holy shit! It's a Jack. Yeah, it's an Augie. It is a Jack. Jack you missed out. He's gonna play in the league. Jack, where are you? Oh my god, I'm gonna ban Robert from the camera if he shuffles anymore. I want to take this time to remind players that when shuffling, uh, please be courteous of time. <sighs> I'm literally gonna go tackle him. Because <laughs> that is beyond ridiculous. Now, why would you need to cut it? Those cards are the most random they've ever been on the To be fair, uh, at competitive REL, you must cut your opponent's deck when they offer it. Yeah, I'm literally gonna put the top card on the bottom. All right, looks Speaking like, of which, uh, uh, Manos is putting both his cards there from Sierra Visions onto the bottom. By the way, uh, Mountain Dew throwback. Solid AF is my official verdict. Yeah, we need some kind of scoring. All right, we have to we have to go like flavor, profile, smell, uh, overall taste, and sometimes you get a, like a sticky aftertaste. This is just, all right. I will tell him Harrison said stop. This is just literally Ren, pretty, tell 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 Robert that Harrison says stop shuffling. This is just pretty idiot. solid. That's all it is to it. It's solid, nothing, no frills, no special effects, just solid goodness. No, see, my problem with this is you didn't start with original Mountain Dew. We need a baseline. We, we no longer have a baseline. You blew it already. I don't think they had original Mountain Dew in the cooler. You know what does? Literally every store on the planet. Well, I'm not every store on the planet. I'm right now at GameStop Mason in Mason, Ohio, where we have live magic four nights a week, as well as a wide variety of singles throughout all of Magic's history. And, and board games. Of, plenty of board games and classic games and table space for you and your friends. There's a DD and d group happening about... 40 feet behind us as Augustine resolves his first in staring bridge of this game. Uh, I'm going to have to... Into open mana. I'm kind of disappointed. Why is that? His, uh, his art choice. Of its staring bridge or the lands? In staring bridge. Um, and his lands. I'm very disappointed with the lands uh, being uh, hodgepodge and not all one uniform artwork. Yeah. There's a staff case of mage attacking under the bridge. Under bridge. Down oh, Robert's hand looks really good here. Is there a braid? A, yeah, so he has a delver and a braid of Jace. That seems pretty good. It's not bad. Well, there well, goes the rolling jar. There goes there his goes. opportunity. I, like I, you can't even do that yet because what's the point? Like the bridge isn't actually doing anything yet. Um, he does have a gate, so we'll see if Augie is cognizant of that as a possibility because he literally only has one win condition. Yeah, dipping thoughts. He's decided that he wants to not play fun. So no, I, I don't know why he hasn't played the Delvers at all. Your guess is as good as mine. Um, they could also be Hunt Masters. Fair. Also very fair. Yeah. So we'll see if uh, Augie, Augie's just going to jam. He's in the tank. Uh-oh. What do we got here? We got... Uh, Transmit to West. Transmit to nice. West. Looks like, yeah. I'd probably go get Chalice. And Chalice for... One? You would tap out for that? I mean, he's going to tap out on this turn, right? So... Uh, no, he's no land house. Really I mean, Chal it. it's kind of like Chalice for EE, right? Mm -hmm. EE for two here doesn't really do much. Correct. He's gonna cast you know, it. No, Robert doesn't care about this. No, he doesn't. It's 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 weird though, because uh, so Robert's playing this like a control deck. <laughs> Deck's more playable than Delver. Yeah, Robert's playing this like a control deck, but he's not really a control deck. He's a he's more of a tempo deck, right? Yes. So he's 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 not. He's not going to be hit, able to hit his lands the entire game. Like there's, there's no way that uh, check card in his hand is not Huntmaster. Because I don't see any logical line or reasoning as to why you wouldn't just stand that Delver. See, now he's very glutted. So again, uh, again, traditional traditional control decks just want to make all the land drops. They're happy playing Drago, Drago, Drago. Uh, Robert did have a land in hand, though. It looks like he's just going to run Jace out. Um, which is I don't play the one bit. I don't, but uh, Augie's going to slam this gear port Aether Grid. He's going to kill the Snapcaster Mage and then go to work on the Jace. Mm, do we think that Robert uh, feels confident with his hand, or do you think he's going to brainstorm? I, th I think he has to brainstorm first. His hand doesn't look very strong. 
Uh, after on this J out, he has three flip cards and an abrade. The rate of which is not doing anything right now. Like no, he, 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 misses, he misses opportunity. Yeah. Uh, he still might have taken that opportunity to just uh, abrade the ensnaring bridge. Uh, but obviously, Robert has a plan. I like to think everyone has a plan. Yeah. I have, I, Roberts I, isn't necessarily obvious. My, my plan is to be miserable. Am I doing well? You're doing very well, yeah. Thank you. Here's Chase into the brainstorm. We see a lumbering falls. We see an engineered explosives. We see a termagoif. Goif and ex lumbering falls going back, which means Robert is now brainstorm locked. He's got three checklist cards, explosives, and a brain in hand. Yeah, so ideal turn for Augie this, this turn is, uh, oh, is Gearport Aether Grid a artifact for one so he can shoot two things? Um, this, if he has, if he can shoot two things, it lets him keep up with Jason Plus. Um, he will also empty his hand, so he might be able to just completely ignore the Snapcaster Mage. Yeah, the Snapcaster Mage, which is probably where I'd go with it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I probably just want to get Jace dead. Different thoughts pointing out EE for three hype. I don't, don't. I imagine Robert wants to get the engineer wants it for three out, but uh. Augustine definitely not. He's going to be pretty content with this uh, Aether Grid to lock down. Yeah. Also, EE e for three takes almost two entire turns. Correct. Yep, and empties his hand. So let's see. Uh, he's probably just going to shoot Jace twice. But there's no reason to do it now. Would you shoot Jason Spellbomb Jace down just to kill it? No, I want to keep all the artifacts out on the board. Oh, well, uh, he apparently agreed with you. You're the smartest man alive, Jake. Did it! Sweet! Type. Yeah, so again... This is my uh, uh, imitation of a birthday uh, whistle. <laughs> this, doesn't, this, doesn't, this doesn't win, though. You mean... No, it's like a... That, yeah, that we just did. Hold on, I can do it better. My lips are quite moist at the moment. <laughs> Here is the Edgeard Explosives for three. Yeah, but he can't blow it either. Plus, can't Augie just uh, welding jar this uh, in staring bridge? I think he cares more about the uh, the grid. Fair. Ooh, Ooh invention worm invention. Draw. Hotness. I don't know what he's going to get. I have no idea. You get Uba Mask, you get Jester's Cap. The possibilities are endless. I imagine he wants to get something to protect his answer grid. He could get another bridge. He could let the first one blow. He gets... Oh, he could just... Oh, he could also get a... Uh, spyglass, right? Is that what's, what's ENXT? He gets to next turn a braid in response to Welding Jar. See, then he yeah. has to oh, that's spyglass. what he said. Yeah, yeah. Spyglass team explosives, right? I think it's spyglass. Robert has to try to abrade the spyglass. Please, this is for two. I think it's just going to be spyglass on uh, engineer explosive. Correct. Yep, we uh, went to win our chicken dinner. There is Sorcerer Spyglass, a very innocuous looking card. Let's bring it up on the screen for each and every one of you to see. Vintage playable. Yeah, very innocuous at first when. Uh, we saw the Ixon Lake a long, long time ago. I mean, uh, see him play just about everywhere. Yeah. Standard, modern, legacy, and as you said, vintage as well. Turns mm -hmm. out being able to look at your opponent's hand with a Pithy Needle effect is pretty, pretty it's gosh pretty darn good. good. Pretty good. And he said long, long time ago, and then I think and I can still remember. Why are we calling American Pie? Oh. <laughs> When the music used to make me smile. Also, I just want to reference the fact I that uh, if I had my during chance, the top deck party, I, make those people I embarrassed each me. and every one of you in Mario Kart. I just want that to be known. He embarrassed me in more other ways than once. We'll just leave it at that. I <laughs> want to play some drunk driver, and uh, no one else did. So I was chugging drinks and still beating all you. You might as well. You might, here you might as well. The, the best play that you can do here is just go after the wadding jar. <laughs> because there's a chance, like you, you can also make you can make him think that uh, he drew another, that he drew a second braid. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're good. You can put chat back over the spyglass. What's up, Teddy? Mike can respond to uh, activate the Rick's grid. Uh, we did say the spyglass. We uh, we beat the first scenario of Gloomhaven finally. 
We're actually gonna play on Saturday with with one Jake Valentine. Do I get to read the first uh, scenario, or do I have to jump in at scenario two? It's the, the second. It's the ent second entry scenario. I think it'd be okay. Okay. So what classes are available for me? As uh, obviously so you can be, a, you can be, he's gonna play. You can be a, a spell weaver, or you can be some rat thing that uh, chalice for that two. summons rats, and you can make people. Sh you can make enemies shoot other enemies. That sounds real. That sounds a lot of fun. Pretty sure this is just the unless Bob has. I think this is it. This is pretty much a lock. Um, unless he has uh, ancient grudge. Here comes a hunt master. Or this flips, you know, thirty times back and forth, which is also a possibility. This is a, it's a very strong possibility that it flips thirty times. Technically, it'll only be seven, but you know. Uh, and we also have to hope that Augie forgets that he can kill it right now. Augie does not forget he can kill it. Is Grudge too? I, I, that's why I was saying I don't remember what Grudge is. Approve of the wolf token? I don't. I don't approve of anything. I need Jake to approve of me. I don't approve of you one bit. God damn it. All right, yeah. so uh, Hatred Grudge's CMC is too, so wow. it will not work through this chalice. All right, he too. might have a crows and grab. Probably gonna start stripping him of a. Well, interesting. Uh, he can't cut him off blue. All right, so uh, what is seeing what he's naming here? What did he name? I can't see. Were of Invention is the name. There's an Obero, House of the Clouds. Robert is loaded as passing War of Inventions. He already missed one. I, do you think he'll go back through again? Okay, yeah. He missed. He missed. He had to go back through again just to make sure. Uh, so what are we on the... Mill him out plan or ping him out plan? <sighs> so because he didn't have any delvers out, he didn't, he didn't have to play the Mox Opal. Uh, Spyglass is on engineered explosives. Because that would be the full uh, full blowout there. Robert draws basic mountain. I think he's just going to keep leading out hunt masters. Got another one. Alright, we're going to shoot it. I mean, to be fair, these Huntmasters are meaning uh, Augustine has to shoot down the Huntmasters instead of battles his life total. So it's doing something yeah. at least as a inlet is the draw. It's not particularly concerned at the moment. I think Robert might be drawing dead. Agreed, 1000%. Who's Shatterstorm? Uh, get the Huntmaster out of here again. Don't think uh, Meadows is place from Shatterstorms. He's a backup as an Aaron Bridge. Seems okay. Uh, not okay if he ever gets this EE. -E. Please tell Robert he can scoop. <laughs> Look, Robert wants to get his face time. He's a handsome sure. boy. He's got his stylish cap on. Uh, he probably listened to a day to remember on the way over here. Uh, so if you don't follow Robert on Facebook, you should. He usually posts song of the day that they're not completely terrible. Um, I've heard better. Uh, but apparently nobody likes my music choices, as was evident on Saturday when I got literally cussed at several times by... Fantastic women in Jake's life. <laughs> Alright, let's see if he goes after the uh, uh, the, the creature pole. land and then he just activates in response. I don't think I don't think he's gonna do that. I don't think Augustine cares at this point. Oh, we got a chalice check. <laughs> Alright, now he scoops. Keeps up. Augustine wins game two, yeah. walking out his opponent. Uh, him being able to take care of the JC immediately was pretty much the key there. Teddy, what's Robert's song of the gas song of the day? Song of the gas. So Jake, how was your day? It was a really busy day. Yeah. Really busy day in the world of sales. So I was able to uh, uh, come up with my uh, top five 90s family sitcoms. That's because you don't ask them to, Teddy. My day was stressful for personal reasons, and then I put together two chairs. Yes. So we'll give you a little, little preview. Um, family Matters, not on the list. I just don't even care. Step you by said, step. I just don't even care. Not on the list. I, I just don't care anymore. Like... You know what I was watching last night? Speaking of the 90s, Ladybugs with Jonathan Brandis. Never heard, never even heard of it. Is Roddy Dangerfield? 
I love your Sermonic Dangerfield. Teddy, uh, follow me on Twitter, HOP3LESS. We have started the we Mountain Dew in the chat Power box. Rankings. Uh, Mountain Dew Throwback is a drink of the evening. I rated it solid AF. Family doesn't it's matter. everything about Mountain Dew, but smoother. A little sweeter. Friends. So let's do uh, the first two here as these players shuffle in game three. Number five is Home Improvement. I, uh, political affiliation of Tim Allen aside, uh, the Home Improvement is pretty classic in terms of family sitcoms. You gotta love Tim the Two-Man Taylor. You gotta love Al. You gotta love Neighbor Wilson. Uh, number four is probably the quintessential family uh, sitcom of all time. If you say Full House, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw the computer. It is Full House. Get out of here. Hey, hey, get out. Get out. I, got, I got three words from you. Ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Cut it out. Cut it out. Dave Coulier. <laughs> all right, all right. It may or may not be the subject matter of a very famous 90s song. What is it? Uh, it's Atlantis Moore sets um, You Ought to Know. Oh, is it really about him? We don't, supposedly. We don't know for sure, but supposedly. Home for but definitely 2 3. Ted, are you even old enough to have seen any of these shows? So my, my issue here is, I, I have a question for you, this is important. Yes. Who do you like more? Uh, Post-home improvement, no, pre-home improvement Tim Allen, or post-full house actual comedy Bob Saget? Oh, there's no question. Post-full house actual comedy Bob Saget. Yeah, I mean, so your choice here is a raunchy, raunchy comic, or a... Uh, a uh, convicted drug dealer. Because, <laughs> you know, Disney has its standards. We'll fire James Gunn, but we'll hire Tim Allen. You know, even though he got, he sold a lot of uh, cocaine. Yes. Uh, Bob Saget was able to Screw avoid you, the Adam. <laughs> Bob Saget has, em I feel like he's embraced his role as uh, Danny Tanner. Danny Tanner and said, you know what? I'll give you Danny Tanner. I don't, I don't but see. I can also tell you to F yourself. I don't, I don't understand. Like, who, who thought and said, hey, look at this comic. He's really, really, really effing raunchy. He's the perfect dad. It just works. It works, though. It works. Uh, also, Coco Better. I'm not happy to say this, but... A different world? And no Fresh order. Fresh Prince is not on my list, either. I will say that in my... In an actual list, Fresh Prince would have been number one. But since Adam uh, threw me a curveball last week, I have a curveball coming up here as well. All right, so... Fresh Prince is absolutely fantastic. So this is, this is the uh, GameStop really Mason, Mason stream where... Uh, where we take, where we keep score, but the score doesn't matter because you can't win anything. Really great. Who's lens? I'm black, so my list is gonna be different. <laughs> I like, I like the different world, but I, I did like Martin awful lot. I, I can't watch, cannot watch Cosby Show in the same vein anymore. All right, he well, well, learned from his mistake last game. Snapping off. You're right. He's snapping off the villain click as fast as he possibly can. Uh, so unless you can't beat Chalice Run, I'm just gonna let him keep all these. Because he missed his land drop. Obviously did if you give him a land drop, you're turning on basically his entire hand yes. because he can go, uh, he can go, Chalice one. Then he can go needle and Chalice one. Hang it for Mr. Cooper, sister, <laughs> we just sister. Run it down, TGIF, right here. Yeah, the uh, TJ, the little kid, and sister, sister. Yeah, the Maori twins, also on Disney Channel quite a bit. Hang with Mr. Cooper. TJ show. was on. He was a smart guy on Disney, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Meadows lets Augie have an attempt to draw his third land. So he got rid of the needle? Interesting. Yeah, I don't... That's so Raven is 90s, is it? I don't remember how old I don't I am. think that's so Raven's 90s. Uh, Three's Company is nowhere close I'm to being my 90s. Door. We'll be waiting. We'll oh, yeah, Brady Bunch. Yeah, I'm with you. Good 90s. Good 90s show there. Good Times is a show that's even better than how you play it. Pork chops and apple sauce. Dino Mine. No, it's 2000s. No. My name's Florida. That's the name of a state. <laughs> Why is my name Florida? Jake's gonna have such stupid kids one day. It'll be great. <laughs> that and every time you hear Free's Company, I think of the Fry quote in Futurama. Where he's like, "Come on, knock on our door." Da -da 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 -da. Uh, <laughs> Poor dog. Mr. Poor dog in Futurama. Mr. Roper. Thank you, Duck F's, for the follow. Appreciate you for tuning in and watching Got us smoke. do some uh, yeah. Tuesday night Marley. I prefer F Troop. Anybody see F Troop? That Chevy show technically is a 90s sitcom, but I don't consider it a family sitcom. How is it not? There's a family in it. Fair. It's not about the family, though. It's about the kids. We have a... Jay yeah, Meadows, once sculpture. again, getting this uh, lock down on the prison Mox deck. Opal. That isn't turned down. You know the contents of his hand. Just give him the opal, yeah. 
You know, he didn't make a land. If you give him the Opal, though, I'm just going to play an EE well, on zero. Exa- yeah, that's fair. That is fair. Yeah. You can play EE on zero, play yeah. the Opal. That's land number three. I think Meadows uh, is realizing this. I like to give him the benefit of the doubt that he knows this. And he's going to bottom it. Okay. Bottom it. All right. Well, uh, okay. Augie needs to hit, an, hit a... Uh, Something. Anything. Literally anything. A third bridge is not what he that wanted to hit. That's not what we wanted, boys and girls. So keep in mind after the rules change, uh, Chalice always gets nuked by EE for zero, which is strange to me. Also, um, another trivia question for the chat. Um, who originally sang the theme song for that 70s show? Um, Bob, Cheap, Bob Cheap, Seeger. Cheap Trick took over, but who originally sang it? Thank you, Claudio. Jesus, too, for the follow. Um, Third Rock from the Sun, yeah. It had a... That also had a young... What is his name? He has many, many names. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Yeah, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Had uh, Wayne Knight was in it as well. John Lithgow. Kristen Stewart. Uh, Kristen Stewart? Kristen Johnson, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, you're right. Kristen Johnson you're and Fred Stewart. Paul uh, McCartney. Fred Stewart, by the way, was my uh, all-time favorite guest on Celebrity Jeopardy on SNL. Yeah. Mine was anybody that said suck at Trebek. So, uh, Sean Clattery every time. Correct. I just love that French story. Suck at with, uh, the Panish, with, the Panish Mike, yeah. <laughs> suck at was, Trebek. There was Connery, French Stewart, and, uh, Turd Ferguson. <laughs> Turd Ferguson. <laughs> that was yeah. with Norm MacDonald. But, I miss uh, Norm MacDonald on it. So do I. Alright, so this game's... Looking this game's rich over on uh, this fate. Meadows, very like right, he's credit, a He is fate-sealing his opponent, and we mentioned this a couple weeks ago. Not enough people, we feel like, are fate-sealing their opponents of Jace. They're too accepted the brainstorm. Jack, get out of here, Frazier. Frazier is not a family sitcom. Paul I'm sorry. How is that not a family sitcom? They're adults. There was a dog. Uh, to be fair, his dad's on it, his dog's on it. His brother. His there brother. family. Oh, yeah. God darn it. By default, you're going to have to find family. We're going to have to dig deep. Does Family Guy count as a family sitcom? I mean, it's literally it called Family Guy. In the 90s. It's an entire family in there. <laughs> He's a family guy. Yeah, Jack. Yeah, Jack's just counted. He's got a sword by his name. That, that I've holds actually weight. never seen Frasier. You know, I've never seen uh, the Larry David show. Curb Your Enthusiasm? Yeah, I've never well, seen Curb. Well, you're wrong for that. You're wrong. I will binge wrong. watch the entire show with you on Saturday if and this, only if. The show is straight. If and fire. only if. Here is a Raging Ravine being activated. Like this. Here this is, is, this is lethal. For Four, five, six, seven, nine, and then whatever amount. the goif is. Uh, so he's going to block whatever the goif is. Land artifact instant. Dinosaurs, my dudes. Everybody loves Raymond. It's nice. I'm Italian. Uh, I can confirm everything in, is true about everyone loves Raymond. You're not Italian. You're fake Italian. I'm half Italian. You're fake Italian. Oh, he draws the CRISPR Worlds. That will right. do it. Robert Meadows wins this match. All right, let's let's get lunch. the rest of your list done so I can just not care okay. anymore. Okay. We see Lopi in the background there. Again, number five of my family sitcoms in the 90s is Home Improvement. Uh, Home Impro- Tim Allen, Home Improvement is really good Tim Allen. You gotta love Al Borland. Gotta love Al Wilson as the neighbor. I just like, I just like Al. I like, I, like the, I like Wilson as the neighbor. I do. I do. Uh, number four, of course, Phil House. It's corny, yes, but it's really good. Oh, my God. John Stamos is so hot right now. John Stamos has always been hot. Hansel is so hot right now. Always hot. This number, next one I disagree with. Uh, this is not family. This show is how to not have a relationship. Number three. Um, I've actually gone back and forth on these lists. Uh, number three is going to be Boy Meets, Boy Meets World. Thank you, Red Summer, for the follow, too. I don't know how you can think of 90s family sitcoms and not think of Boy Meets World. Like, literally, he just, he just literally cheats on Topanga, and they get back together, and then they end up happily ever after. They find Sean's brother. Yes. Um, Sean's dad dies. Well, you have a quick uh, honorable mention to Married of Children. It did air in the 90s. Ah, uh, Bud. Bud Bundy. And the Bundys are one of the best American families of all time. Yeah. Go uh, back to the list. I'm, uh, still, I'm still a big fan of No Ma'am. At yeah, number no, two, as Jack Rand alluded to, everyone loves Raymond. Get out of here! I don't no, even wrong. think about this when I think of a 90s sitcom. It is a 90s sitcom. I think of this like early 2000s. It 2000. is a 90s sitcom. And number one, I don't care about families or not, this was better than Game of Thrones last year. It's Mother Effin Twin Peaks. The best show that aired in 2017. I, just, I don't care I what you say. I can't agree. I can't agree with any of this. I don't I, care I, what I you say. I agree with this entire list. Nothing makes sense. Yeah, Kelly Bundy was bay. South Park technically entered in the 90s. Family Guy. Twin Peaks was far and away the best show they aired last year. I know that we have Screw a the Academy. Of planes. Screw the enemies. Thank you, Goober, for the sub. Five months in a row coming in hot with that sub. I, Thank you, I, I hate Jake so much. 
I hate Jake so much. If you can say All Star by Smash Mouth is the best Limp Bizkit song, then I can say Twin It Peaks. is, because nobody cares about then Smash Mouth. I can say Twin Peaks no, is the best cares about Limp Bizkit. The only people that care about Limp Bizkit I are people that went to know Snorkel last year. How is Annie? That's all I want to know. No was, even, nobody in our chats even watched Twin Peaks. It was not mentioned in the return. Has anybody in the chat watched Twin Peaks? Come on, let me see some hands. Let me see. Anybody watch Twin Peaks? Literally nobody. Shrek cares about All Star. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Add repeat what you just said. Does anybody care about about Twin Peaks? Or, I care about Twin or, Peaks. Or, or, or are we talking about are we think. talking about the only people that care about Limp Bizkit or little the people who were stupid enough to show up Sunoco last year? <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently people do care about Twin Peaks. Me, it's great. Yeah, Twin I, Peaks is great. The Return was what? fantastic. What is it great at? Everything. Fine, then put the X Files on here. Then that's even better than Twin Peaks. No, it's not. How is it not? It's not. It was name one character that had their own red shoe diaries like <laughs> David Coveney? <laughs> Scully Motor shipping that. Uh, Dibby thoughts. I know who you are. Oh, but I think I, I have a guru really planes. like you. I think Dibby I have a guru planes. I really like who you are. Nobody likes you, Jake. I have to like Jake, just not that much. It's been over a year since the return finish, and my life is not the same without it. That does it for round one. Thank you all for watching. We'll be back with a second round. Adam Alts might strangle me in the meantime. But we'll be back with round number two of Tuesday Night Modern. Big shout out for Dippin' Thoughts. Let us know your favorite 90s silly only comedies in the chat. We will be back. Maybe. I don't think her streamer is there, so I'm going to keep talking for a bit here. Yeah, she met her. I just heard her back here. She's not there. She's not going to bum us up the commercial. So, uh, if you have any questions uh, in the chat, uh, let me know. I will answer them as best as I possibly can. I want to talk about. I actually have not seen the X Files return. I really wanted to, and then I heard it was kind of iffy. So it kind of turned me off on it. Also curious is what everyone thinks about the Pro Tour. Uh, I really liked uh, not watching Limited ever. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. I enjoyed watching lots of Constructed Magic. I uh, thought it interesting that they went pretty hardcore on the uh, Legacy during the event, which is a little ironic considering that they never support Legacy, and uh, Legacy is incredibly hard to get into because of the good old wonderful reserve list. But it was really nice to have a Team Pro Tour. Everyone seemed to love it. Uh, the general consensus online has been more Team Pro Tours. Um, curious to see what you all think about Nexus of Fate as a card as well. Uh, I know this is a little controversial still, but I really like the Buy a Box promo. I do think they kind of missed uh, already uh, in terms of having a Buy a Box exclusive card being uh, constructive label and standard. Oh, that being said, I think if anyone is smart and will play any aggressive red deck, that they will have a good shot of beating that deck. Even though if the Nexus of Fate deck gets to gets to churn through their fogs, they're pretty favored in that matchup. Um, the Silver Showcase was really interesting. Uh, Gaspel, I always thought it was a marketing expense, uh, but I think the biggest miss was they didn't. I really would have loved uh, to see a mass on camera in, in team constructed. I think Aiden's that was a. Yet? I think that was a. Can you put the replay on? Give it a second. I think it was a really big miss not having a Maz under constructed. I, I I don't know why they didn't pick these four, these eight pillars of uh, the TGT community, whether it's through Magic or Hearthstone, and put them on during constructed. It just seems I don't know. That's that's what I would have done differently. I mean, the Maz is a very competent player, especially in limited. It's, it reminds me of the uh, Dominator Pro Tour when uh, Numat the Mummy was not on camera, especially during limited. Uh, I thought it was a big miss on having Matthew Folks on camera as well, as well as Misplaced Ginger. I think Wizards really needs to get in touch uh, with who their popular streamers are, who the best Magic Online players are, and they should have featured them, especially since a lot of them were playing uh, in the Pro Tour. Uh, but that being said, uh, our stream is back. We're going to do a quick little replay. Be back in about five minutes or so for uh, our second of four rounds here on Tuesday Night Modern at GameStop Mason and also the Top Tech Productions August Modern League. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back shortly.